A North Korean man believed to have returned from China will be executed for bringing a copy of Netflix's hit show Squid Game into the country. Radio Free Asia reported that Squid Game was smuggled into North Korea on USB drives and SD cards. After selling copies to several people, including fellow students, he was discovered by the country's surveillance services. He will be executed by firing squad. Six other high school students who watched the film were also sentenced to five years of hard labor. Their supervisors have also been punished, with teachers and school administrators fired, possibly expelled, or sent to work in remote mines. Officials are currently conducting searches of student schools to look for other foreign content. The North Korean state said that Squid Game reflects an unequal society where the strong exploit the weak and shows the beastly character of a Korean capitalist society where humanity is destroyed by tough competition. The show also features a North Korean defector whose story highlights her arduous escape from the dictatorship. North Korea has a strict ban on documents from the West and applies the law of elimination of reactionary thoughts and culture, with a maximum penalty of death for viewing, storing, or distributing such documents and media from capitalist countries, especially from South Korea and the United States. However, no matter how strict the government regulations are, there are rumors that one of the students had rich parents who paid a $3,000 bribe to avoid being convicted. The arrest of seven students marks the first time at North Korea has applied the law on the elimination of reactionary thoughts and culture related to minors.